Welcome, welcome to Preeti Kara's 2023's first class. I welcome you all for my Pilates, bar, yoga, meditation, pranayam class, and above all, I welcome you for your me time. With that, we start with a soft march, swinging our arms. Swing your arms, very good. Little higher march. Just we are trying to send a message to the body that wake up, it's 2023 and we have new goals, new barriers to conquer. Very good. With that, my dear friends, take a break, come back down, take your left nostril, left hand, lock your left nostril, closing your eyes, Sending all your focus of breathing for the right nostril and exhale from the right nostril. We are activating our Surya Nadi. Surya Nadi speeds up the heat of our body, speeds up our metabolism. One more time, breathing in and exhaling. Very good, very good. We are back on to with our soft march. Knees are going a little higher. Little higher. With that, bring the right knee in, give it a hug. Drop. Left knee in, give it a hug. Drop. Right knee in, drop. Left knee in, drop. One more time. Right knee in, drop. Left knee in, drop. Very good, very good. We are back with our march and right, doing nice shoulder rolls. One, two, three, reverse. One, two, and three. Bring your legs wide apart, hip width apart, the size of your hip. Arms out and rounding your back, give a nice hug in the front. Slowly open your back. Bring your hips forward, look up, and open your arms. This is standing cat and a cow. Rounding your back, slowly opening your back. One more time, breathe in, round your back. Breathe out, open your arms. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Now, my dear friends, Put your hands on your waist and lift up the leg, right leg and swing it. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring it back. For the left leg, if that's not your dominant leg, look down, point a spot, gaze on your spot, tap your left foot forward, lift it up, give a soft swing. As you see that we, we are all rusty now, right? Two more. Last one slowly. Come on back. Very good, very good. My dear friends, we, today we will start with one set of Surya Namaskar, but we got to build it up. So I know we, a lot of you guys have been with me for more than one or two years. So we're going to build it up. So first one is... Join your legs, free your hands, closing your eyes. Let's set up an intent for today's class. You might have had a stressful day or you might have had a sleepless night. Leaving all that apart, focusing on your me time for your health and for your fitness. And set up this intent with a beautiful smile. We open up our eyes. Welcome, welcome. We will start with Surya Namaskar. So come forward on your mat. Forward on your mat. I will face you. First is Tarasan. Stand straight. And listen to all my instruction. See if that can help you. See your belly button. Squeeze the belly button in. As soon as you squeeze the belly button, the 
hips, the glutes will start squeezing in. That's the right way to do. Both arms up. Now, pull yourself half inch up. Pull your shoulders half inch up, your height half inch up. Slowly look up. Don't have to drop your head. Do not drop your head. Do not drop your cervical neck. Now, slowly bring your hip forward and fold it. This is Hasta Uttanasana. One, two, from here, do the prayer hands. Come back to the center. Take four counts down without bending your knees. See how far can you go? Padahastana. Three, two. Last one, you can bend your knees if you need to, or you can keep your legs up, or you can bend your knees like this. Hold it for one, two. Now, bring your right leg back. Ashwa Sanchalan. Ashwa Sanchalan improves our flexibility. Hold it for one, two, slowly. Take the left leg, bring it back to the right leg. Now, if you're up like this, slowly drop your hip. And keep on dropping till you feel that you're in a straight line. How would you know that? Squeeze that belly button in. This is called Adhomukha Asana, which strengthens our core, which is the theme of this week, our upper back. Slowly drop your knee. See your feet? Flip your feet. Go back in a child's pose and slowly scrape yourself up for Chaturanga. Drop your chin, not drop your stomach. Take those elbows, put it back. One, two, now curl up your toes. Lift up yourself. Slowly back to downward facing dog. Hold it. One, two, lift up the right leg. Bring it forward. Hold it. One, two, back again to Padahastana, where the toes and the fingers meet. One, two, slowly come on up. Lift up your height half an inch. Hold it. One, two. Now bend those elbows. Once you bend the elbows, push the elbows back and bring the hip forward. Look up diagonally, 45 degrees. One, two, and slowly straighten yourself. Let it go. <clears throat> excellent, excellent. My dear friends, can we give it one more try? One more try. Oh, no, sorry. You got to the left side. Ready? Let's go to the left side. Lifting up yourself. Hip forward. Hold it. Padahastana. One, two. Bring your hands. Four counts down. Four, three, two. And last one. Hold it. Four, one. Squeeze your belly button. Two, slowly. Right leg back. Left leg forward, my dear friends. And hold it right there. Ashwa Sanchalan. One, two, and coming to a plank. Adomoka Asana. Hold it. One, two, drop your knees. Curl your toes and go back and scrape yourself forward. But those elbows, bring it back towards you. Hug your elbows. One, two, and slowly straighten up yourself for Cobra. Cobra activates our third eye chakra. It also activates one, two, slowly curl up your toes, lift up your knees, and go to downward facing dog. Yes, one, two, lift up your right leg, bring it forward. One, two, coming back to Padahatstana where the toes and the fingers meet. One, two, Slowly come on up. Arms are up. Bend those elbows and push those elbows back, bringing your head forward. One, two. Slowly straighten up yourself and let it go. Excellent, my dear friends. I think I would like to do one more set of Surya Namaskar with a little tweak in it. Right? So, ready? Let's go. Arms up. Pull yourself up, hip forward, one, two, bring your hands, four counts down, four, three, two, 
and one. Hold it. Now, my dear friends, drop your crown, your head, all the way down. Now, the right hand holds the left elbow. The left hand holds the right elbow. And your head is cradling in your forearm. With that, I want you to nod your head saying yes. Nod your head. Yes, one. Yes, two. And yes, three. Now nod your head saying no, one. No, two. And no, three. Slowly unfold your arms. Right leg back, left leg forward for Ashwasan Chalan. One, two, bring the left leg back and come to a plank. Once you're on a plank, my dear friends, pay attention. Rock yourself forward, rock yourself back. Rock yourself forward, back. One more time. Forward and back. Now drop your knees. Flip your feet. Chin and chest with the mat, elbows back. Hold it. One, two, straighten up yourself. Slowly come on up for cobra. Once you are up for cobra, rotate your neck over your right shoulder. Rotate your neck over your left shoulder. One more time. Over your right shoulder and over your left shoulder. Once you're done with that, curl up your toes. Very easy. Just curl up. Lift up the knees. Now lift your hips up. Go back, go back. Now walk your hands back and downward facing dog. Now, my dear friends, bend your right knee. Straighten up your right knee, bend your left knee. Straighten up, bend right, bend left. Walk your legs, right, left. One more time, right and left and slowly lift up the right leg. And bring it forward, hold it for one, two, back to Padahastana where the toes and fingers meet. Slowly come on up, arms are up, bend those elbows and push the elbows by bringing the hip forward for one, two, slowly straighten up yourself and let it go. I promise you one more left side and we are done with Surya Namaskar. Bending those elbows, coming up, you lift up your height, hip forward, one, two, pray your, pray your hands, four counts down for four, three, two, one. Now, my dear friends, over here, okay, grab your elbows, opposite elbows, and drop your crown chakra, your crown of your head, and go right, rotate right, center, Left, center, right, center, left, center. Slowly release it and the right leg goes back, left leg forward, hold it. One, two, into a plank. Adumukha Asana. Hold it. Now, bend the right knee and touch the mat. Straight the right leg out. Bend the left knee, touch the mat. Straight. Bend right, bend left. One more time. Right. Left and slowly drop the knee, flip your feet and come to Chaturanga elbows back. One, two, straighten yourself up and slowly come on up for Bhujangasana. Once you are at Bhujangasana, hold it, hold it. One, two, curl up your toes, lift up your knees. Now slowly lift up your hips, go back, go back, go back, and you come to. Downward facing dog. One more time, bend right, bend left, bend right knee, bend left knee, right knee, left knee. Slowly come back, lift up the right leg, bring it forward, hold it. One, two, slowly back to Padavastana. One, two, slowly come on up. Arms are up. Thank you for giving it a try. Elbows back, hips forward. One, two, slowly release it. Fantastic. I am so proud of you. I know for a lot of people, Surya Namaskar has been challenging. Just do it. One or two of the asanas and give it a try. Ready? We are going to do some Baba Namdev exercise, which is going to work our core and the side of our obliques. So, 
If you don't have the gadgets, if you're from India, Flipkart and Amazon, you'll find it and they are very, very inexpensive when it comes to your health. I will start with my weights. So grab one pound or two pound weights. Bring your arms up. Legs are a little bit far away. And interlace your fingers. Interlacing your fingers. Ready, Barnabin? Ready, Priti Desai? Tarin will ready. Lift yourself up. Bend right. Slowly curve. Do not bend too much. Remember, we are just warming up. Left. Slowly up. Be careful of your spine. Be very mindful. Left. Slowly up. And the slower you go, the more your core has to work to lift you up. Bend. Now see, if you close your eyes and focus, it's your abs which is bringing you up. Again, bend right, close your eyes and see what is lifting you up. The abs have to work very hard to lift you up. Again, one more time. Right. Lift up. Left. Lift up. One more time. Right. Lift up. Left. Lift up. Very good. Letting it go. Right leg crossing the left leg. So cross your legs. Weights are still there. And I'm going to bend right. When I bend right, I'm sending my arm far away. When you send your arm far away, are you feeling it on the side of the left side? Thumbs up if you're feeling it on the left side. Yes, very good. That's what we're working. It's trying to scrape the sides also. So right. One more time, slow left. Send your arm. And are you feeling it on your left oblique, on the left side? Very good. Slowly release it. Ready? Let's go. Right. Left. No, let's do just the right side. I'm sorry. Right. One. Two. Slowly come back. Three. Four. Five. Every time you come up, the side obliques have to come and work with you to lift you up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Slowly come back. Unfold your legs. Very good. Left side. Cross it in the front. First, find your base. Ready? Find your balance. One. Two. Three. <clears throat> four. Five. Six. Very good, Smita Thakkar. Excellent. Seven. Eight. Excellent, Meena Patel. Nine. Last one. Ten. Unfold your legs, my dear friends. I just feel I have so much exercise, so many exercises to teach. Very limited time. Right hand. Touch behind your right quadricep, your right thigh. Okay? So, you're right here. So all I want to do is dip down. Dip down. Ready? Let's go. Ready? One. Two. Send the back hand further back. Five. Six. Don't come all the way up. Okay? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Slowly come on up. Again, we're still working on our core. Left hand right behind our quadricep, our left thigh. And I'm going back from there. Ready? Let's go. One, two, don't come all the way up, okay? Three, stay down only. Four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10, slowly let it go. Excellent, my dear friends. We're gonna drop our weights, let go of the weights, and 
Open up your legs. Very important is your legs have to be more than hip feet apart. See how far can you go. Open up your arms. Right fingers are going to touch the left toes. If you come up, left fingers touching the right toe. For that, come forward. Do not bend your knees. Knees are straight, legs are straight. Looking down, ready, right, come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Touch left, come up. Very good, we are going to take a pause because I want to increase your heart rate. Ready, let's go. Right, left, I mean, come up, come up, right, up, left hand, up, right, up, left, up, right. Rajal Bain, legs, little pora karo. Still, still open up your legs. Very good. And then you come up. Very good. Very good. Two more times. Right. Left. Right. Left. Last time. Right. Up. Left. Up. And slowly come on back. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Now, my dear friends. We're going to work a little bit on our lower body with our glutes, but do not lay down yet. For core, we have to strengthen our tummy muscles. So I'm going to work on that also. For that, remember, we're going to do inchworms. We have done inchworms many, many times. So come at the edge of, our of, our, of your mat, right? Take your hands, put it on your thighs. Now, slowly, Start leaning forward and roll your hands. Your hands are passing your knees, your shin, your ankles, your toes, and you're walking your hands. Walk one, two, three, four. You come to a plank. Hold it. One, two. Now we're going to walk back. When we walk back, it's our tummy. It's, it's getting spread, and we're using, roll up, 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 up. We're using our core muscle. This exercise really strengthens up our tummy muscle. So let's do it. Hands on the thighs, roll down, 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 passing your toes, walk front, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. Walk your hands back, 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 back. Roll yourself, rounding your back, round your back when you come up. And come on up. Let's do it one more time. Hands on the thighs, rolling, passing your knees, the shin, your toes, walk. One, two, three, four. Hold it right here. One, two, three, four. Walking your hands back. Walk your hands back, back, back. Round your back when you come up. Round your back. Slowly come up. I promise you one more time. Hands on the thighs, rounding your back. Roll yourself down. The two fingers are crossing your toes and you're walking one, two, three, four. You come to a straight line. Once you're in a straight line, very good, excellent straight line. So the one in lady in red, drop your hips. Naina, Naina Mehta, drop your hips. Hips drop, girl. Ah, excellent. So you were like this, straight line. Hold it for two and one. Slowly walk back, back, back. Round your back and slowly come up. I'm so proud of you, Meenal Patel. Wow. Perfect form. Excellent. Very, very good. Now, meet me on the floor with one weight. Only one weight. So, this is called being on four. Two arms and two knees is called being on four. You have an option. Only if you want, you will put your weight behind your knees. You don't have to. If you haven't worked out for a long time, or if you're a newcomer, you don't have to. So, I'm going to put my weight behind, two pound weight behind my right knee. I want to check my posture. So, I'm making sure my arms are underneath my shoulders. They are not forward or they are not back. They are right underneath my shoulders. Now I slowly lift up my right knee. My feet are flat. 
My feet are flat. I lift it up and I come all the way down, touching the yoga mat. Ready? Let's go. Lift up, come down. Lift up and down. Feet are flat. Slowly come down. Every time you lift up and you come down, your abs are working. If you pay attention and focus on it, your abs are working. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one and stay up. Stay up. Feet are flat. You know what? There is a ceiling door. And you want to open that door. You want to push that door. So let's push the door just by lifting it up only. Do not come down at all. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stay up only. Stay up. It's burning. Freeze. Freeze up. Freeze up. Up. Freeze up for 4, 3, 2. Slowly come down. Now, let's remove the weight for this one. Remove your weight. And all I'm doing is lifting up my knee sideways. I'm opening it up and I'm closing it. But I do not touch my yoga mat. Ready? You open sideways and you come back. Open and you close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Last five. Four, three, last two, last one. Keep it open. Keep it open. From here, just push it up again. Push it up. Half an inch lift up. One, two, three, four, five. Promise five. Promise four. Promise three. Promise two. And last one. Leave it open. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Three. Feel the burn. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Slowly close it. Once you close it, sit on that right hip. So sitting on the right hip, send both your arms on the left. The right hand palm goes over your left palm. And drop your head. Feel the stretch by taking a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Are you ready for the left side? Going to turn over so you can see me properly. Taking my weight behind my left knee. Posture check, making sure that my hands are underneath my shoulders. Yeah. Ready? And when I lift up, my left feet is flat. They're not pointed, they're flat. Then I bring it down, touching the yoga mat. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up. All the way down. I'm using my core. I'm using my stomach, my abdominal muscle to lift me up and to bring me down. Very good. Last five. Coming up. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Lift it up. Feet is flat. Let's open up that ceiling door by pushing it up on me. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Slowly bring it down. Excellent, baby, anyway. Get rid of your weight. And let's do some fire hydrant. So we open up our knee. We slowly close it, but we do not touch. The yoga mat. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one. Leave it open. Leave it open. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Now let's push it up. Up. Only from here. Push 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, fold it and feel the burn and freeze for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly close it, sit on that left hip and 
Send your both arms on the opposite side. Now, the left palm is over your right palm. Drop your head. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Excellent, my dear friends. Once you regroup yourself, if you need to take a water break, please help yourself and take a water break. Let's slowly stand up for some upper body exercise. But this exercise is all related to our abdominal core. So it doesn't mean that your abs can be done only while you're laying down. It can also be done while you are standing up. So we're going to do standing chakyasana. Legs are a little wide open. Imagine you're holding a chakki. Close your fist. And we are going to go around. One. No matter what, do not bend your elbows. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. No matter what, try not to bend your elbows. Last two. Last one. Slowly. Now we are going to go towards the right side. Kamini Bin, look at me. I'm not going like this. Don't move your upper body too much. Naturally, Jetha moves thai, only that moves. Ready? So rotate first to the left side. And now circle. Circle. Very good. See your body. Yes. Three. Very good, Kamini Bin. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, slowly come on up. Excellent, excellent. Now, my dear friends, put your hands on your waist. Or let's do one thing. Take our hands and put it under your chin. So it's not like this. Straight line. So check it. Now, tap your right leg forward. Tap your big toe forward. Once you tap it, tap it five times. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Now lift it up. And then swing it. One, two. Three, four, five. If this is difficult, come. You have a choice. Put your hands on your waist. Last three. See, this is more difficult. Last two. Last one. Slowly come on back. Hands again on your waist. Tap your left toe. One, two, three, four, five. Ready? We'll swing it. Now, you don't have to look at me. Look at a point on the floor. So that way, you can have a proper balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. That was difficult. Let's take a break a little bit and let's work on our upper body. So grab your weight. Today we won't work on uh, with our band, but all my newcomers, please make sure you have your weights, your band, everything with you. It's very, very important. Okay. <clears throat> the first exercise is connect both your uh, heels together and your toes are facing diagonally. So, see, I'm in a ballet. One, two. Three, four, five. Excellent, excellent. Now, look, I'm going to add a second layer to it. When I bend, my weights are coming under my chin. Bear, chin, pay attention. I straighten up. Ready? Let's go. Ten, nine. Every time I stand up, I squeeze my hips, my glutes. I keep on squeezing it. Yes. Last five. 
four, three, two, last one, stay down, stay down. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? From here, all you're doing is pushing your elbows back. Push your elbows back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, slowly come on up. Excellent, straighten up your legs, very good. Now my dear friends, we are going to do running arms, which is going to increase your cardio and also work on your core. So, stand diagonally, take your right leg back. Once your right leg is back, left leg is forward, you hinge forward, lean forward. All I'm doing is I'm going to run. I'm going to run with my running arms. Ready? So look, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eight, nine. Are you feeling it in your abs? Are your abs rotating too? Last one, last one. And 10. Slowly come back, back to the center. Excellent. Now, your arms are up, come back to the side. Ready? Let's go for five counts only. I'm just warming you up. One, two. Make a soft bend with your both your knees. That means zip up your thighs. When you zip up your thighs, even the air cannot go. Once that is done, both your arms are right here and we circle. One, two, no rush, no rush. Don't go like this. Imagine the shape of an orange. Would you go higher than an orange? I don't want any cantaloupes. I just want an orange. Yes, for last five, four, drop your weights, don't worry. And we're going to reverse it. Ready? But the shape is, oh, don't drop your arms. As soon as you drop your arms, what happens? The muscle goes back into normal. Then again, you have to work hard to bring them to the fat burning zone. So try not to drop your arms for last five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly take a break and we go bringing our, which one, whichever leg was forward. I think my right, left leg was forward. So this time I'm gonna bring my right leg forward for my running arms. And I'm gonna hinge forward. Once you hinge forward, See if you can squeeze your belly button and see if you can close your eyes. Ready? Running arms. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven. Challenge yourself to close your eyes even for a few counts. Last five, four, three, two. Last one, slowly come on up. I promise you this is going to be our last circle arm exercise. Again, bring your arms. I'm working on those bulgy arms. Look at, look, uh, everybody look at me, look at me, pay attention. Lot of women have those arms. We all have that problem, right? The bulgy arms, the swinging arm. So for that, I'm working on it, right? So again, one more circle. Now the circle shape is of a cantaloupe. And your palms are facing up. Palms are facing the ceiling. Ready, circle. The shape of a cantaloupe. Five. I mean, last. Now it's last five, four, three, and we have to reverse. Remember, two, do not drop your arms. No matter what, do not drop your arms and stop and reverse. One, two, three, four. I we are halfway there, halfway there, and last five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it forward. Very good, my dear friends. Even if you feel that, you're going to feel it tomorrow, but that means it worked. So now let's do one thing. We are going to, okay, let's do one more, one more exercise. Again, coming back. Remember we did running arms? This time we're not going to do running arms. We're just going to hold our weights. And I'm going to lift my back knee, bring it in and I'm gonna drop it back again. 
When I drop it, I do not drop my whole feet. I only tap with my toes and I bring it in. I tap with my toes. I bring it in. I tap with my toes. Ready? But the key thing is shoulders are square and you lean forward. Very important. Ready? Otherwise, you're putting pressure on your lower back. Less exercise, but the form is very important. So it's very important for you to know the form. My left knee is in the front. It's bent. And I hinge forward. The more you hinge, the better it is. My arms are on the side, sticking on my waistline. Ready? Let's go. In, tap back. In, tap back. In, tap the big toe. In, tap the big toe. In, tap the big toe. For last five, four, three, two, last one. Slowly come on back. You know what was working, my dear friends? Why the core was working? It was the left glute which was working. Now, very important, bring the right leg forward. Where are your hands? Sticking on your waistline. Hinge forward. Right knee is bent. Left knee is on. Come on your toes. And we are coming in. And we tap on our big toe. We come in. We tap. Go back on our big toe only. Ready, Minal Bay? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, last one. Excellent. We did it, my dear friends. I am so proud of you guys. Very good. One more time. Now, my arms are, my two fingers are facing you. This is my glass of Poonam Shah. Is it, uh, I don't know, but the pad of Poonam Shah. Pay attention. So this is my glass of water. What am I going to do? I'm going to Fill the water till the last drop. This is my cup of milk. I'm going to rotate and drop. To rotate it, how much? Till the last drop. So, straight arms, rotate, come back. With that, I'm going to add a layer. So, connect your heels together. Toes are facing diagonally outside. If you don't want to do your legs, you can only do your arms. So, one, rotate, come up. Rotate, come up, rotate, up, rotate, up, rotate, come up. This is working on our tricep, our bulgy arms, our ding, dingling, bingling arms. Last five, four, three, last two, and it's last one. Slowly come on down, drop those pesky weights and give yourself a big hug. Yes, a big, big hug. We, we did it, didn't we? Again, opening up your arms, switch your arms and give yourself a big hug. I promise you, this is the last exercise for our upper body. What are we going to do is, we are going to do skater lunge. So do you remember? We did the garba. Remember, I always say it's a keka, garba, keka step. This is called skater lunge. Now, my dear friends, now, my dear friends, stop, freeze. Let's challenge ourselves. It's 2023. Grab your weights only if you want to. Cross it right here. Pay attention. Cross your arms. And when you open it, Cross your arms. When you bend, you open it with your weights. With your weights. Very good. Good job. Ready? I'm going to start counting. One. Two. Three. Four. When you open up your arms, see if you can bring it a straight line. Very good. Six. Good job, Pinky Desai. Good job, Shayna. Very good, Pinky Desai. Very good. Last three, Bounder Bend, ready? Ready, Devi Annie Bend? Last two, this is it. And we're gonna to go to our abdominal. Last one. 
very good. And slowly come on back. Let's close our eyes and rotate our shoulders and circle our shoulders. Rotating back and forward, back, forward one more time. Let's do it in the opposite direction. It's very important, my dear friends, that you stretch. Very, very important. Yes. Last one. And slowly now. I promise you, last exercise. All I want you to do is go up and down, but holding your breath because we are going to open up our lymph nodes. So take a deep breath in and shoulders are up. Hold your breath. Do not breathe out and only go up only. Two. We do not breathe. What are we doing? We are opening up our lymph nodes. That's five, four, three, and last two, and release your breath. Excellent. I thank you very, very much, Parubin, Rika Ben, Kalpna Ben, all of you for coming today. Make sure we have our Pilates ring and we have our ball when we come down for our abs. And as I said, very important is bringing your towels. The two towels are the one which will really, really support your cervical neck and your lower back. So here I have my towel. A small roll of my towel is for my cervical neck. And the longer one is going to be for my lower back. Now, take the ball, put it in between your ankles. Put it in between your ankles and slowly lay yourself down, adjust your towel and put your hands underneath your hips. Straighten up your legs. And all I'm doing is, see, lifting it up, straight up, and dropping my leg only halfway. I come up all the way, but I drop it only halfway. Straight leg up and drop it only halfway. Why? So that we do not damage our lower back. But, my dear friends, our abs are still working, they're engaged. So don't worry about it. Give me five more. Slowly come down. The key thing in this exercise is how slowly you can come down. Because the slower you go, the abs get strengthening, engaged. Last three, last two, last one. Slowly bend your knees and take the ball out and swing yourself up. Come on up. Take your ball, put it right behind your lower back and lean back. Lean back and see, are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Bring your knees a little bit closer. Are you comfortable? Now bring your arms. Open your arms, go back. Slowly see how far can you come up. Now, slowly go back. Can take long time to come up. So what we will do is one count back, but we take two counts to come up. One count back and one and two counts to come up. One count we go back and two counts we come up. Now, once you are up, now see, see what I'm doing is, I'm up, I open up my arms when I go back and I slowly come up. I do not drop my head, do not drop your head. Open up and look straight only and slowly come up. Open up and slowly come up. Only three more times. Last three, up, last two, up, last one, and I slowly come up. Excellent, excellent, my dear friends. Now, let's take the ball, put it on the side for now, 
and take our Pilati ring for our bridges. So, when we do our bridges, it goes right in between our thighs. Come on on your back. If you do not have your Pilati ring, you can use your ball. But coming on the back, before we start our bridges, whatever you have, your ball or your Pilati ring, now squeeze it, squeeze your knees in and open it up. Let's warm up first. Let's warm up our inner thigh muscle. So we're burning our inner thigh muscle. Squeeze in and up, in and up. Squeeze your knees in and out. In, out, in, out, in, out. Last five. Four, three, two, last ones. Keep it squeezed in only. Once it's squeezed in, slowly lift up your hips, my dear friends. See how high can you lift up? Can you lift up? So send your hands underneath your hips and push yourself up. Push your hips up. This is where you, I want you to be. Over here. Now, from here, only squeeze in the ball of your Pilates ring. You are way up high. So you can put your hands underneath and cross it like this and squeeze in. Two, stay up high, stay up high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly drop yourself down. Very good. Now, let's do a normal bridge up and down. Every time you come down, you touch the back. And bring your arms straight, arms up. Arms up straight up. Ready, my dear friends? When you come up, squeeze your ring and drop it. Open up your ring. Squeeze in and drop. Arms do not move at all. Yes. Squeeze in your ring and open up your ring. Yes. Last five is coming up. Soon, we're there. Ready? Last five. Down. Four. Down. Three. Down. Two, down, last one, stay up, stay up, stay up. Lift up all your tentacles. Stay up, stay up, lift up all your tentacles for me. Very good. Five, four, three, two, last one, slowly drop it. Now, my dear friends, take the ring out. I'm going to explain you something very important. You lay down and you listen to me. The next exercise, which I'm going to show you, is going to work three part of your abdomen, three major part of your ab muscle. The first one is called our transverse ab muscle, which is the very deepest ab muscle. The second one is our internal and external obliques, which will help with our waistline, the shape of our waistline. And the third muscle is the top muscle, the rectus muscle, which is attached to our ribs. So I'm going to show you this exercise. First, look at it, and then you do it. So when we educate ourselves, and then we do the exercise, the whole meaning of the exercise and strengthening changes. So pay attention. Hence, my hands are behind my head. Don't worry. Don't have to remember anything. I'll walk with you. But look what I'm doing. So I'm going to lift up my right knee, and I'm going to lift up my head. Now, my left elbow is going to turn towards my right knee. And then I come back again. I drop it. Or you can keep it lifted. So, now you can do it with me. Lift up your right knee. Lift up your head. Now, rotate your head and bring your elbow towards your right knee. And slowly come back. The leg is still up high only. Ready? Then you rotate. And you come back to the center, looking up at the ceiling. You rotate, come back. So what is it working? Our deepest muscle, the transverse muscle is working. Then when we rotate, what is working? Our obliques are working, internal and external obliques working. When they start working, what happens? Our waistline gets smaller. And our rectus muscle, which is a top muscle, that's when you start seeing the shape. When you say the six pack, that is what is happening. Last two. Last two. 
Last one. Slowly come back. Drop your leg. Very good. Once you drop your leg, take your arms out and drop both the knees on the right side. Open up your arms on the side. Now drop both the knees on the left side. Markat Asan. Ready? Again, this is also working our waistline. Drop right. Drop both the knees on the left. Ready? A little faster. Right. Left. Working on our core with our waistline. Dropping it right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Two more times. Right. Left. Right. Left. Very good. Come back to the center. Bring your hands behind your head. And then lift, looking up at the ceiling only, my dears. Lift up your left knee. Now lift up your head. Bring your right elbow towards your left knee. And come back to the center. Bring your right elbow towards the left knee. Come back to the center. Ready? Come on. Ten. Center. Nine. Center. Eight. Center. Seven. Center, six, center, this is it. Only five more, only five more, only four. Center, three, center. Don't give up on me, I'm with you. Don't give up. Last one, come back to the center. Excellent, my dear friends. One more time, drop right, pull the knees, and drop left, pull the knees. Slowly come back and take both the knees and give them a nice hug. And rock side to side, giving them a nice hug, rocking side to side. Very good, very good. I hope I'm doing good on time. I think so. I have two more minutes and I'll try my best. Bend your left knee. Now, my dear friends, we are working on the lower part of our stomach, the lower abdomen, which is really, really helps to flatten up your stomach. So now lift up the right leg, straight leg up. Point your toes. Now, make a nice big letter O. Nice big letter O. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. This is it. Four more. Four more. Only four more. Four. Three. Once we are done, we're going to reverse our circle with the same length. Last one, we come on up and drop it and reverse it in the opposite direction circle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, this is it, 2, last one, bring your knee. Only that knee and hug that knee and see if you can lift yourself up to give a nice kiss and straighten up the left leg and hold it. Pretend you're kissing your knee and hold it for two and one. Slowly drop it and drop that leg. Bring your hands again underneath your hips. Lift up the left leg, point the toes and ready, let's go. Very good, I'm with you. The biggest challenge was for you to commit. And you committed. And the biggest challenge for you was today to turn the Zoom on. And you did it. And what's happening in your mind? Happy thoughts are coming. Feeling good. Feeling confident. Yes, my dear friends. So proud of you. And we are doing last four. Three. Two. Last one, come on up and drop it to reverse, opposite direction. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Grab that knee. Hug that knee, straighten up your right leg. Can you lift yourself up slowly and try to give a hug or a kiss to that left knee for one, two, three, and 
forward, slowly drop it, skaten up your, up your leg, swing up. Very good, very good. There is no more going back. Commit yourself, no more going back. With that, my dear friends, bring your arms up and slowly bring the right hand down and slowly drop the right elbow. Do not lift up your left hip. Feel the stretch. Slowly come on up. Right arm up, dropping my left elbow, leaning towards my left side, making sure my right hip is still on my mat. Slowly come on up. I thank you all for coming. Connect both your feet for butterfly. Take your hands, interlace it. Cradle your, your feet, lift up your feet and bring it closer to your pelvic bone. And your spine is completely straight and flat bit. This is excellent if you have thyroid. The bridge, my dear friends, when we did bridges, it opens, it activates our root chakra. Isn't it beautiful? Very good. This, we're working on our inner thigh. Excellent, excellent. Two more. That's it. And really quickly, we come on a squat to open up our hip flexors. So if you are new and you do not know how to come on a squat, you practice by holding the legs of a chair. The goal is to keep your heels down. Now, with both the elbows, open, push it out. Yes, very good, very good. Now, whoever are comfortable, lift up your right heel. Now lift up your left heel, lift up both the heels. Excellent, very good. Keep it lifted. Wow, kya baat hai. Everybody's doing it. So proud of all of you. Chandra Bala Ben, salute to you. Slowly drop your right heel, drop your left heel, slowly come back. Excellent, my dear friends. While I do my pakao time, it's, you can stretch and sit in a position wherever you want to sit. And just a tiny bit of my pakao time is coming up. We're definitely meeting on Wednesday and again, focusing on our arms and our abs. My dear friends, if you really want to get old with your loved ones, with your favorite people, make sure they are exercising too. So that way you do not miss out. I really lost my, my very, very best, best friend and that brought a big vacuum in my life. And I realized that, no, I don't want to be old and be all alone. I want my loved ones to be healthy like me. So, as you know, I don't charge for the classes. So I've, and I'm not about, it was not about numbers also for me, but make it a mission. See if your friends, your relatives, your cousin, whoever it is, and make them join the classes. Even if they can do it once a week, that's okay as long as they are fit and they are with you. What is our New Year's resolution? I'm sure we all have New Year's resolution. The biggest New Year's resolution, I'm sure it is to lose weight. Two pounds, three pounds, 10 pounds, right? We need to find out, my dear friends, why? Why do we need to lose weight? Why? You know, when the word diet comes, the first three letters of diet is D-I-E, right? But if we stick to it and think for a long term, think your diet, your exercise as a long marathon. Don't look for instant gratitude. Think it as a long marathon. How do we do it? We do it by making, being reasonable with yourself. Let's say I, I would really love to lose 15 pounds. But, and I want to lose 15 pounds within three, four months. Are, bacha, that 
15 pounds took years for you to pile up and now you want that instant gratification? Absolutely not. So let's be reasonable. Even in your mind, you know you want to lose 15 pounds. We won't look at that number. Let's start with only, if it's 15 pounds, let's go down to five pounds. If it's by five pounds, let's go down only to two pounds. Two pound can be manageable for all of us. Two pound is manageable, thumbs up if it is manageable, right? So we will stick to that two pounds. I don't need to know your weight, but weigh yourself today. Weigh yourself, we are what, in January 16th, right, today's? So from January 16th till, till Valentine's Day, right? Four weeks, only half a pound, half a pound. Sounds very easy, right? Sounds easy, but how can that be, we become easy on it? By committing to burn calories. Burning the calories, how do you burn the calories? By exercising, walking, whatever you're doing in your house. That way we burn calories, right? And with that, we eat healthy food. How do we know we are going to eat healthy food? Let's be reasonable. Again, even in that, let's be reasonable. Let's cut down only a little bit of our, our vices, whatever it is. My vice is sugar. So I'll have to cut down a little bit on that. If your vice is fried food, if your any kind of junk food, just a tiny bit. And let's weigh ourselves every single day, every morning and every evening. So we will know how many even ounces or grams we increase that day. As soon as we know that, what are we going to do? The next day, we will fix it. But let's say you didn't increase, you are at the same. You are at the same and you feel, yes, even though I ate, I still didn't gain weight. That means you did something right, number one. At the number two, what you need to do? Now that I have control and I'm not gaining it, now what do I want to do? I want to go a tiny bit under. I don't want to go over. I want to go under. So I got that control by not gaining it today. So now the next day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak a little bit of my intake of food and go a little bit under. And with that, I'm going to bump up a little bit of my exercise. You all know that we have a big group of who does 10,000 steps a day. So if you want to join that group, only if you're committed, then only I will add you to that group. Every day, that whole group, Sudha Ben and everybody's here, Every day for last two years, they log in and sends a picture of their uh, 10,000 steps. Sometimes people bound up in, right? Goes 15,000, 20,000, whatever the challenge is. Do that and see the difference, my dear friends. I know I'm based, going too fast. So again, we will talk a lot more about it. I'll give, share you all the secrets about it. But what are we going to do? We're going to figure out how we eat, how often we eat, when can we eat, how late are we eating, how early are we eating. Tweak yourself, change it a little bit. So half a pound a week. Committed? Committed? All I need to know is on the group that, hey, I, lo I did lose my half a pound. That's all I need to know. The next week you might say, I didn't lose it, but I did not gain it. That's also a positive. Paka, promise, I will hold your hands. I will help you. Thank you. I see a lot of thumbs up. Ah, love it. Love it. Any questions you have, text me privately. I will help you. I will hold your hands. But remember, redundant question, you know your answers, right? We're all Google babies. With that, with a beautiful smile, I welcome you to 2023. I our our group's motto is three C's. Commitment. Commit yourself for yourself, for your me time. Be consistent in my class. And the other one is let's concentrate on what we do. Thank you all for coming. I welcome you all. I welcome everybody. And we start with our pranayam. It's a beautiful smile. My dear friends, pranayam is as important as we do those exercises. At some point, I really don't care for that exercise as much as I care exercise of our internal organ. So sit up straight.
you can come sit up with in half padmasan full padmasan is better also but half padmasan brings your spine straight it activates our all our chakras which as we go along with pranayam i will let you know which chakra is getting activated while you're doing pranayam if you are a newcomer you can keep your eyes open but if you are my regulars close your eyes trust my voice and put full faith on your ears and challenge yourself to do exercise without visual with that first we will do nadi shuddhi as you know that every time we breathe only one nostril is dominant we need to figure that out because in the daytime we want the surya nadi to be dominant that is our right nostril at night time we want the cooling nostril which is our chandra nadi so we want our left nostril to be dominant so but during the morning time when we are not exercising we want both the nostril we want to breathe from both the nostril how do we know we want to breathe from both the nostrils this is what we need to do lock your right nostril and on your own normal breathe in and normal breathe out for five counts ready breathe in on your own last one unlock the right nostril lock the left nostril breathe in from the right nostril for five counts and breathe out five counts ready go last one by doing this we activated both our nostril to breathe in and breathe out with that we go to start with kapal bhati kapal bhati is internal organ exercise and it's a cardio exercise for our internal organ so this is where the stomach goes back and front forceful breathing out and stomach going back and front back and front my dear friend it is going to also activate our manipura chakra this is where our wisdom activates you know how we get our wisdom our gut feeling for that we will also activate our mudras so take your ring finger to your thumb take your pinky finger to your thumb press it once you press it it gets activated flip it put it on your knees spine is straight money a uh, prana chakra is activated what happens when the prana chakras are activated our body gets energized so while you're watching tv you can sit like this also now with that we're going to do forceful breathing stomach going back and front kapal bhati for 50 uh, counts ready take a normal deep breath in and a deep breath out and yes. let's go We're going to do only thirty counts. So last five, four, three, two. Last one. Stop. Now, right away, we go to Mula Bandh, where we lock all our angles of opening. So take a deep breath in. While you're breathing out, drop your chin to your chest. No more breathing. So we locked our nostril. Now squeeze your stomach in, and send all your focus. squeezing your glutes your anal glands but we are not breathing and hold it for 5 4 3 2 slowly do not release your breath but unlock your chin and come back to the center now do not release your breath unlock your glutes unlock your anal glands and unlock your stomach take a deep breath in and a deep breath out that was kapal bhati 
it helps with cardiovascular and loosens up your sinus. As soon as kapal bhati is done, we got to do sheetly. For sheetly, we curl up your tongue and take the cool breath in. So curl up your tongue and breathe in. Seal your lips. And exhale. We're going to do three times. So last next two times, you're on your own. Ready? Last time. After, after sheetly comes sitkari. So that helps with our gums. So connect your teeth. Take a deep breath in. Feel your lips. And exhale. Next two, you're on your own. Last time. After seat lee, we are going to do anulom vilom to improve our oxygen level. For anulom vilom, we're going to do vayu mudra. What is Vayu Mudra? Again, refresher. Take your index finger to the root of your thumb. Take your thumb, press it. Flip it. Only the left hand will be doing that. How does Vayu Mudra help us? Vayu Mudra helps us with every joint pain. Sciatica pain, neck pain, spine pain. With our right hand, we're going to do Vishnu Mudra. So curl your index finger. Curl your middle finger. Flip your hand. Take your thumb. Lock your right nostril. Take four counts to breathe in from your left nostril. Ready? Breathe in. Two, three, four. Now lock both the nostrils. No breathing for four, three, two, one. Exhale from right. Four, three, two, one. Inhale right. Three, two, one. Lock four. Both nostrils. Three, two, one. Exhale left. Three, two, one. One, inhale left, three, two, one, lock four, three, two, one, exhale right, three, two, one, inhale right, three, two, one, lock four, three, two, one, exhale left, three, two, one, inhale right, left, lock four, three, Two, one, exhale right, inhale right, lock four, three, two, one, exhale left, inhale left, lock four, three, two, one, exhale right, inhale right, lock four, three, two, one, exhale left, inhale left, lock four, three, two, one, exhale right, inhale right, lock four, three, two, one, and exhale left. Slowly releasing and unlocking your mudra, getting ready for Bastrika. So for Bastrika, we bring our arms and we bring it down for 10 counts, forceful breathing, then 10 counts, we pull it and bring it under our arm, armpits for 10 counts. And the last one is going to be with chicken wings. So for Bastrika, you can also sit on your, um, in Vajrasan. What does Bastrika do? It helps, opens up our Vishuddhi Chakra communication chakra sometimes we cannot express ourselves so we are because our vishuddhi chakra is not opened up but when the vishuddhi chakra is open up you can express your feelings so beautifully so ready arms are up forceful breathing and bringing your hands down ready but relaxing do not strain yourself ready let's go
nine, 10. Bring arms forward. Ready? Let's go. Nine, 10 chicken wings. Slowly release it. Take a deep breath in. And breathing out. Getting ready for one more set of Vasrika for 30 counts. Slowly bring your arms up. 10 counts. Ready? Go. Slowly forward. Nine, 10 chicken wings, go. Seven, eight, nine, 10, relax. Bring your hands down. Getting ready to speed up our metabolism. So when we speed up our metabolism through Agnisar, we are also activating our Manipura chakra. So my dear friends, bring your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath in. While you breathe out, you come forward, hold your breath. No more breathing and only the stomach goes back and front for 20 counts. Hold your breath. Ready? Go. That's five. Four, three, two, last one. Slowly take a deep breath and come back. One more set of Agnisa to speed up our metabolism. So take your, take a deep breath in. Completely breathe out and hinge forward, lean forward. And hold your breath and go. That's five, four. Three, two, last one, slowly come back. Eyes are closed. What happens as we get older? You know what? The brain cell starts closing up. So when the brain cell starts closing up, we end up with memory loss, Alzheimer, or dementia. So we, it's very important to make sure that our brain cells remain activated. So for that, we will do Brahmari. Take your thumb, tuck it in your ears. Take your index finger over your eyelids. Take your middle finger over your nostril and pinch it softly. Take your ring finger over your upper lip and your pinky finger on your jawline. And making a humming, buzzing bee sound, make sure you are, your nostrils are softly pinched. Take a deep breath in and go. Getting ready for set number two. Taking a deep breath in, making a humming, buzzing bee sound. Last time, deep breath in. Slowly, if you're done, unlock yourself, keeping your eyes closed. You have come all the way with the whole class with me. Just give me last three minutes, not more than that, I promise you. So stick around with me for meditation, my dear friends. Only three more minutes. It's a beautiful meditation. It's Monday, so I like to do Om Namah Shivai. Hang in there with me, my dear friends. Relax your mind. Relax your 
shoulders. Send all your focus on your third eye. Keeping the focus on the third eye. Mind is at peace and heart is a full of love and compassion. Body is so relaxed feeling very achieved, feeling very happy, slowly, keeping your eyes closed, coming to prayer hands. Let's bow down to Mother Earth to seal our practice today. Slowly, coming up, Rubbing both our hands to release the heat. Rub, 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 rub. Taking the base of your palm, putting it over your eyelids and pressing gently. Now, cover your palm over your face and open and close your eyes, releasing the energy we collected by keeping our eyes closed for our pranayam. Close your eyes. Take that energy in your palm and rub it over your glowing face, all over your body, especially the places where you are sore or you're hurting. Bringing your head down, slowly with a beautiful smile, 
gently opening up our eyes. I thank you all for coming today. I appreciate it. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Namaste. Thank you, Priti Ben. Priti Ben, thank you. Thank you, Priti. Thank you, Niru Ben. Niru Ben, are you part of the group? Come to text message, Malay Chene. Okay. Jyoti, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, me too. Good, good opening, good coming. Very yeah. good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Priti. Happy Namaste. New Year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Darni Ben. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Happy, Happy New Year to all. Happy New Year to all of Kamini Bain. Thank you. Marul Bain from Ahmedabad. Thank you for joining. Thank you. We are going to speed up now. We are once as, as soon as we, this week is all about abs, but now I'm going to speed up. We, I need to see more. We, we are stronger now. We need to get challenging. Thank you, Rajal Bain, for coming. Thank you. Thank you I so much. You're welcome. I will see you all. I'm going to 